Are you struggling to find the perfect gift for your Valentine? Not when you can make it custom with DTF. However, you might be thinking, I don't wanna just make a shirt. Well, I got you. This is Valentine's Will of DTF. Let's find out. <laughs> Welcome back to another video show of Country Brothers by Flash Custom Transfers. Man. Reporting live Reporting from live. the Texas State Capitol yes, here, here in Austin, Austin Texas. Texas. We are happy to be a part of the Valentine's yes. Day collaboration with happy Valentine's Day. Day. Superstore. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Jeremy, go ahead and take it away. That's right. It's our first collab with our friends over at Flash Custom Transfers and Straight Outta Content. We're doing a little competition to see who can put together the best Valentine's Day pack, all customized with DTF. Make sure you stay to the end to see us open each other's gifts and then head over to their channel to watch how they came up with theirs. We set a budget of $40 and the pack has to include a teddy bear, a box of chocolates, couples t-shirts, a gift bag, and some custom tissue paper. First, I need to take this thing off. This pink ugh, does not feel right. Pink just does not look right on me. It looks horrible. Got everything here. I've got my transfers printed. It's time to press it on. I think I'm gonna do the tissue paper first because that's something I've actually not done yet, but I think it's gonna go pretty easily. Uh, I've got my tissue paper here. Let's just lay down a piece. Take a piece of my film. I printed a little pattern here with some Valentine stuff plus our logo and Flash Custom Transfers logos. And let's press the first one. This tissue paper is 20 by 20 and I'm going all the way out to the edges, so the edges might need a little of this, a little assistance. I might need to do a second press on those edges before they peel off, right? But let's see what happens. I'm doing it 300 degrees. It's pretty normal for like paper, cardboard kind of products. I also went really, really light on the under base because tissue paper doesn't need to be stretchy. So I just needed enough adhesive powder for it to stick. And because it was 20 by 20 and my platen is only 16 inches wide, Got a little bit more I gotta press. It feels like it might have been sticking a little bit to the bottom of the platen, and maybe that's because the tissue paper is so thin that some of the adhesive might have like kind of absorbed through it. That's a possibility. So, <laughs> and I made a design choice that didn't work so great. There's these little uh, hearts with the halos, and they have little wings on them. The wings are white, and I'm on white, so I should have thought that through a little differently. All right, let's see if this peels off. Okay, so that corner didn't great, but that's because it was one of the corners that wasn't quite under the heat press because it was on the edge, but. <gasps> Perfect. That came out super great. Doesn't change the feel of it at all. There you go. Custom tissue paper, y'all. You can do that for like anything. Birthdays, whatever. Okay, I'm going to press a few more of those and then we'll get on to the next item. The adhesive powder is definitely coming through the tissue paper and sticking a little bit to the platen. Not enough for it to actually like stick to it, but I think you could either put a piece of parchment paper or Teflon under it, or you could reduce the white under base maybe even more. I have it at 30%, but that is that is our normal like amount for making sure it still has some durability and some stretchability. And because this doesn't, an, this doesn't have a need for stretchability, I think you could go even a little bit lower. Obviously, if you're doing it on a different color, like if you're doing it on a red or a dark blue or something like that, you still wanna use uh, some white underbase, otherwise your colors will get faded a bit. So you might have to play with that a little bit. That's really satisfying. Now I'm thinking while I'm doing this, Mamaki can print and powder and press without white underbase. So maybe on white, you could actually do no white under base because it doesn't need to be stretchy, like we said. Now I've got me thinking, I'm gonna go down a rabbit hole. Peel this last one off. Super easy. That is, that is a great item to offer your customers. Freaking custom tissue paper. Looks awesome. All right, next, let's go with this guy. I was kind of excited about pressing him. Like when I was in the store, I was like, it's smoother, it's not fuzzy like a lot of other things, but it's really squishy. Uh, if you've had a Squishmallow before, you know that. And I was looking at the tag and it says that the fill is 100% polyester fiber. So this may not bode well for pressing, but let's see. All right, so I've got a little graphic here for the front, a little flash custom transfer logo with the uh, heart. 
That's not gonna work. This is where a clamshell would probably be the better option, but I don't have one. This may be a really bad idea. See if I can slide it onto the platen. Nope, I'm just gonna hold it here. Hey guys, this is my hand heat press. It's not getting hot yet. I'm not hearing any weird melting sounds. So I think I'm okay so far. I probably should have reduced my temperature a little bit. I'm at 300 right now and Polly really likes it to be a little cooler. I'm gonna cool off a second. As we do with anything difficult or new to work with, we wanna cool it off. It looks adorable. All right, I'm gonna second press this, press this out, shove it up against my heat press with my hand with um, parchment paper over it to get a little bit better kind of uh, press on it. Yeah, so if you're doing a large stuffed animal, a clamshell heat press is definitely a better option for you. You get more pressure. I thought it'd be funny to watch this guy get squished in a heat press, but I can't fit him in here. So designed for sharks, not for stuffed animals. Pretty sure DTF's not designed for stuffed animals, but we make it work, people. All right. So he looks like he does have a little bit of some fuzz because around the edges here, Jenny, don't watch this video. I just burnt my finger. No, I'm just kidding. It is hot. Around the edges, you can see where some of that fiber was, the, the pile was laid down a little bit. That's kind of why I did this guy and not something that was super, super fuzzy or fluffy. So it looks okay. It looks like I got a little bit of like some cracking here, probably just from it stretching funny when it was pressing. I got one more to try on the back side. I'll show you the graphic after I press it. It feels so weird pressing it like this. Cool it off. Yeah, this front one is kind of, is not holding up too well. It's probably just because the stretchy nature of this. Also, maybe the fluff has been compressed a little bit. I'll try to fluff it up here in a second. So sticking a little bit, uh, I think this back part here has got a little bit more pile to the fabric than the front had. So that worked pretty good. Little Flash Custom Transfers DTS Superstore, best friends forever. One of the lines moved here on our logo, on our DTF Superstore logo. And that's probably just cause like, again, this thing is super squishy and generally you want like flat surfaces to press on. So I'm, I was kind of setting this up to not work super great, but I'm trying to fluff them up a little bit to see if I destroyed the squishiness or the squishy nature of the Squishmallow. So there's the front and there's the back. That worked pretty good. All right, next. A box of chocolates. Obviously I'm not going to press this with chocolates in it because then I'd melt the chocolate. So I do need to kind of open this up to gain access to just the top of it. So I'm going to try to unwrap this so I can put it all back together and make it look like it came from the store. Obviously I'm not going to sell this, this is going to friends. All right, and let's take a look at the lid. Okay, this was the one thing I was a little concerned about. There's like this um, rim around the edge of it. I can't quite see how it's attached. So I'm probably best just using the mini Cricut and putting something behind it to kind of hold it up. I'll be right back. This is a platen, an interchangeable platen for a heat press that we're testing. Uh, we'll have video out on that later on, but uh, I think this will work great because I can set it here. Yes, perfect. That'll work. All right, and here's my graphic. I went ahead and did a graphic that was gonna cover the whole thing. And so let's see if it sticks. This is a just a regular Russell Stover's chocolate box. And I can already see, I probably should have done my white underbase a little bit thicker because I can kind of see the design from the Russell Stover's packaging, but Let's still go for it anyway and see if we can make this thing work. My biggest concern is there is a coating on this and it might interfere with the adhesive sticking well to it. But it does not look like it is so far. It's looking pretty good. It smells like I'm cooking chocolate. 
Because I'm heating up the lid of it. It 100% smells like chocolate in here right now. Like obviously I got a box of chocolate open, but it definitely smells like I'm doing some kind of baking or something in here. Andy's gonna come over and wonder why we're baking. It's the new uh, DTF baking channel, everybody. So I think I got the middle part pretty well stuck. Now I'm just trying to get around the edges, which are gonna be a little hard because that lip is about a quarter to like three eighths of an inch on the inside of the edge. All right, take the exact one I've, ooh. Ah, it was glue that was holding that edging on. Cause you can, I don't know if you guys can see there, it is becoming separated a bit. So be careful. I'm gonna grab X-Acto knife and I'm gonna cut the graphic out or cut the edges of the graphic off. That took a hot second. I can definitely tell we're adhered enough to try to peel it. So we're gonna give it a go. There we go. I'm gonna just hit up a couple spots with the parchment paper that I saw didn't stick super great. And there it is. I think that turned out pretty good. Like I said, up close, I can see the little Russell, Russell Stover's logo. So I, if I were doing this to cover up something existing, I would just do a little bit more white underbase. I think I did like 75 on this. I might push up to like 90 or something like that. So now let's package this back up and send it to them. I'm not gonna steal it. No. They get a full box of chocolates. The challenge of this video isn't uh, DTFing stuff, it's making it look like the original packaging. There we go. <laughs> Good as new, sort of. <laughs> All right, next we've got this gift bag. As I mentioned earlier, I couldn't find anything blank. So I'm gonna put these little tiny logos of DTF Superstore and flash custom transfers inside the little O's on this. And I think this is big enough. I'm gonna be able to use the heat press here to do it. Nope. Okay. Back to our good old trusty Cricut Mini Heat Press. I swear this thing is so versatile for projects like this that include a lot of random stuff. So let's uh, lay these out. Here we go. I think these should go pretty quick. There's a coating on the um, on the bag. And I kind of melted it. Let's try putting parchment over it and see if that helps. It's probably still gonna melt it, but maybe it won't stick as much, and maybe I'll just do it for a couple seconds. I know I've said it in one of the DTF videos before, if you're gonna try something new that you've never done before, practice, try it before you offer it to your customers or try doing it yourself, because there's a good chance you're gonna mess up a couple before you get it working right. I can also feel there's stuff under it, like the folds and the handles that are kind of in the way. We'll see if this works. Whatever I melted on the bag is now kind of coming off on the on the mini cricket. <laughs> Some kind of coating, don't know what it was, but definitely not heat safe. So I will have to clean that after this video. All right, let's see if that was enough to get these guys to stick and stay. Oh yeah. Okay, that one didn't stick at all. You know what, I'm gonna give it another like kind of once over just to see if uh, maybe I didn't press long enough. Obviously it's somewhat sticking, but that one came off nicely. Good, stir starting to come off. I think this particular bag's coating does not agree with the DTF adhesive because some of the stuff is sticking, not great, but others are just not kind of sticking at all. So if I were to do this again, I would probably try to find a gift bag that was a little more paper versus like kind of a coated thing. But aside from this one that I totally messed up, can't even peel the film off of it. I melted it to it. Oh, there it goes. So I can definitely feel there where I held it on too long, but that worked. Maybe not as nicely as I was looking for, but it totally worked. Now, last but definitely not least, is the couple's cute couple shirt. And what I've done is I'm go I've gone with a little Pac-Man theme. So this is gonna go on Chelly's shirt, and this is gonna go on Carl's. And if you're wondering why they're so different in size, you will see a little later 
when they put them on. I promise I'll get it on video. We don't need to spend a lot of time on this because everybody knows how to press a shirt. We'll see if this shirt works. It's anybody's guess, people. Just kidding. All right. There's Chelly's. And let's do Carl's. Now I'm gonna put a little lower than I normally would. And you'll see why later. Have I told you to like and subscribe yet? Can't recall. Maybe do it now. Go to our channel. Go to uh, Straight Outta Content. Like and subscribe to their channel. All right. Here's Carl's. Sweet. All right, now I'm gonna package this stuff up and send it to them and then I will review, well actually you're gonna see them review all this stuff uh, in just a second. Nice. <laughs> Did some did somebody tell you that I have a I have Listen, an addiction? Listen, Jeremy, I do my research. <laughs> <laughs> I know that you love is that diet? Diet Dr. Pepper is my is, is my number vice, one, right? But it's because I I can't yeah. I would be the size of a of a Mack truck if I uh, tried <laughs> regular Dr. Pepper. It's okay, anyway. I'm a big guy. I'm a big no, guy. No, that's fabulous. <laughs> ah. <laughs> 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 That is disturbing on so many levels. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh my God. You're a yeah, you're a that... that is funny. That's awesome. I love that. That is so funny. <laughs> nice a little hammerhead shark. Yes. How did how did it go with you guys pressing this stuff on? Look was at it, it awkward or so okay? So, yeah, so smooth and yeah. everything. Yeah, he it looks great. It well, and he has a Dr. Pepper too. Yeah, yep. he's holding one. So she picked that one because of the ridges. Mm. Yeah. To show the complexity, which we showed it pressed really well on camera. That one. DTF Superstore, DTF, DTF Superstore. Superman. Awesome. That is great. That pressed really good too. It did. Yeah, it did. I think we burnt it. Anytime there's like little nooks and crannies, it's so hard to get in those sometimes. Somebody needs to yeah. somebody needs to develop yeah. a heat press that's like malleable a little bit. Oh, like like silicone. Get, somebody needs to do that. Oh yeah, there you go. All right. Cool. And the t-shirts. I'm I'm a little excited and disturbed both. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Together we make the perfect print. Nice. <laughs> yes. I love that. That is fantastic. <laughs> that's Sweet. Funny. <laughs> oh, you got a little a little sleeve print here. That's fantastic. Yeah, yeah, little, little <laughs> as you guys. yeah that's a good. Yeah, as long touch. as you didn't make me the only Cupid, that's awesome. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> that's so good. Oh Sweet, God, awesome. So All right, funny. open you guys. I want you guys to open. All right, okay, let's go. This is gonna be. Good. That was my cheeks hurt. <laughs> oh, there's stuff on the back. There's two jokes on the there's back. There's two jokes oh. on there. Oh. Here, check. What did the school nurse say to her student on Valentine's Day? Love is in the air today. So is the flu, so wash your hands. <laughs> <laughs> oh, our store. I mean, our logo. They pressed it. Oh, wow. Oh, these are stickers. Oh, what is this? No, that's DTF. I, I pressed those. All oh, of them? You pressed one? all of them? No, not the X's and O's. The X's oh. and O's were on there. I couldn't find a blank bag anywhere, so I'm like, okay, I'm going to take something and work with it. But if you look at the top right corner of it, yeah. it melted the coating a little bit. Oh, yeah. So now yeah, my, yeah, my yeah. mini cricket has some like residue on it now. Oh, <laughs> when we pressed the bag, it melted the glue and the bag broke apart. So we had to use our kids like glue stick and glue it back. It was so fun. <laughs> oh, look, this is his paper. Wow. So this is DTF. So this is, doesn't it press really good on, on paper? It, it presses amazing on tissue paper. Like your guys' is great too. Yes. This DTF is cute. presses so good on tissue that. paper. We were so blown away when we did it. I know. And you can yeah. make customized tissue paper. And you can crunch it, right? You can do this yep. with it and it comes right back. Oh, flash. Oh. Best friends forever. <laughs> that is so cute. What is that? It's called a squish mallow. Oh. And, oh, and oh, I, I, I honestly. It's like a. Um, yeah, like my button. daughter loves those, and I thought yes, like, exactly. 
I tried to make it like a little bit challenging, but it pressed really well. It did, yeah. Yes. It did. I was just gonna say. I thought I thought it was gonna be a little awkward because it was so squishy. I was just gonna say, ask Alora, because my daughter's all into those squishmallow things too, so it's so funny. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, hold on. It's, you press it on plus? It's how, how is it you underneath? On the I oh, unwrapped it and then rewrapped oh. it. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, it looks real. That does, is not. That's like, not DTF. Yeah, it is. The whole thing. I just printed a giant thing and then pressed it on it and cut the oh, excess off. Oh, oh look, right here, look, look no, no. It. He pressed the whole thing. Yeah. This we, whole thing is one oh, solid. The whole yeah. thing is DTF. That's oh. cool. <laughs> that one was hard to press because that little edge around it wouldn't let yeah. me like put it in a heat press. Oh. And then that also, the glue was melting off of that too when I was heat pressing oh. it. So definitely something you gotta watch out for is glue. <laughs> oh, candy. So. Yeah, what are we gonna eat? Yeah, you have like a little mini one? Little mini iron? You know he does. It's DTF Superstore. Oh yeah, there you go. Of course he does. <laughs> Of yeah, course and, here, he does. and here's the here's the residue from the bag that got left on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these are the shirts. I'm excited to see these shirts. Oh my god, this is big papas. Uh -huh. mm. okay. Oh, do, 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 do. hold hold <laughs> yours up, honey. Oh, oh and is this mine? Eating all the hearts. Uh, is that a number? If you stand on the other side of her and you put the shirts on, those hearts should line up pretty close. When you guys stand next to each other. Oh, because <laughs> look, put it up higher. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> look at that. So my belly, so once my belly gets in there, then yeah. <laughs> that is so funny. That's cute. Dang, how did you line that up? So I found a photo of you guys on uh, Facebook. On, mm -hmm. on Jelly's Facebook and uh -huh. saw a picture of you guys standing next to each other and I ballparked where that was you like You that pretty well. <laughs> that's pretty well. Wow, that's We're cool. wearing this today. They're in our move. That's, no, we get it ruined. Moving all the boxes and oh. stuff. Oh, DTF's durable. It'll be fine. Is that it? <laughs> awesome. Yep, that's it. Perfect. That was great. This Thank stuff is you, awesome, Jeremy. guys. This is so Sweet. awesome. Cool. What a beautiful Valentine's Day. Yes, thank you. What a beautiful Valentine's Day. A little late, but you know. No, no. Better yeah, late it than happens. Never. It is what it is. So, awesome, guys. Awesome. All right, perfect. Thank you so much. We'll talk to you thank later. Thank you so much, Jeremy. Bye. We appreciate yep, it. So, Valentine's Day. Will it DTF? You bet it will.